Hi, welcome. We are going to be looking at a great starter site that you can use as a template if you are an architect and you want to set up a website for yourself, or if you're doing it for a firm you are working for, or friends, or for a customer. And this template was specifically designed by our design team to make sure that it fits the aesthetics and kind of the design that you would expect from an architectural firm or private individual. This is a multi-page website. It has a home page, a projects page, a details page, and a story page, and a contact page. Hi, my name is JP. And before we look at the site, a quick reminder that these templates are the easiest installations ever. In Brizzy WordPress, you can do that with the one-click installation. And in Brizzy Cloud, you can do it with the cloning feature, which is technically a one-click installation. All of these available in the pro versions. So have a look at that. Go to the website at brizzy.io. So on our site, we have very nice minimalism design, sharp fonts, really good imagery here, great hero section at the top. And you can see all the sections here. This is good enough if you just needed the landing page. And one of the things that's definitely very important when you are working with something like Architect is that you have these showcases. You need to show off your work. So imagery, Photos, highly essential. Call to action to get your users, your visitors engaged, and then learn more that can take you to about our section. Or if you have a document, a brochure that you want to download, this is great here. And then all your contact information, which is a repeater with a global blog at the very bottom. You can add your address, your contact details, as well as your social media platform. And then we have the necessary copyright section at the very bottom. The projects page is essentially almost like a portfolio art exhibition. And what I'm going to do later is to show you how you can take the new gallery element, the pro new gallery element in Brizzy that's in both WordPress and Cloud and really jazz this up a little bit. Under details, this is where you're going to flesh out a little bit more about yourself or your organization, give a little bit more focus on the projects. And you can see we have here, again, a repeater of that information block. Again, you're going to do this through a global block and you're going to assign it for specific pages. Story, the story page or slash about us page is a little bit more about yourself or the organization and highlighting your history, you know, what inspires you, what makes this great. And again, images are going to play a big role here, but you have to add more information here about yourself and about your business. And look again at this design. I really like the spacing of it. The layout is done very well. This is probably, I wouldn't have thought to use this much white space between the paragraphs, but it works so well. And that's what I like about pre-made templates is that you often just dive in there and you get these ideas from designers and developers on how they would do it. And you can either copy it exactly like this. It is a starter template after all, or in the future for your own designs, you can use these ideas and incorporate them. The final page of the bunch is our obligatory contact page, which is essential. Here we have a repeat of your information and then your form, your contact area. And because this is a pro template and you'll be using it within WordPress Pro or Cloud Pro, you will have those features for integration with mailers and also notifications that you can set up for your own emails. Templates are very easily accessible and you can visit us at brizzy.io and at the top under templates, just select templates. And this is where you're gonna find the templates. This one is called Architect 2. We have another architect as well. And from the preview I just showed you, you simply click ahead on preview design and then it takes you to the design we just had a look at so you can have more information on that. Let's jump into WordPress. I'm already here just to show you that we have Brizzy. We've got Brizzy Pro there already installed. And then we hop on over to the starter templates. Here you again will search around a little bit. You have your free, you have pro categories, but how we're going to find it is in the search box and just type in architect. Very, very simple. And look at this. We have a number of templates that suit this criteria. And a few of them, pretty nice, all very minimalistic, all very edgy, you know, very sophisticated. This is what we like, but we want architect. Hover over it, click on install. And then you have the option here to keep your existing content or do you want to delete it? I always go with deleted. I like to start fresh and that was super quick. So thank you very much. Let's go have a look on the front end just to make sure everything happened. Here we have a transparent header at the top. Hmm, interesting. And everything is good to go. Looks exactly the way we want it to go. 
Now, I mentioned earlier about the gallery, and I think this is where I want to go into Brizzy. So let's go to the WordPress toolbar, click on Edit with Brizzy. And this here is done with columns and single images. Nothing wrong with that. I often do that. But let's grab our gallery element. I call it version two and bring in a few images. So we go to our settings all the way to the left and opens up the media library for us. And we select five images. I'll hold control, come on, click on them. Any five will do, and this drops it in. Now with this update, oh, we got a lot of things to play around with. So you will see we have the options, we can bring in more columns, and then we can set it to different settings. So grid or masonry, what I wanna do here is play around a little bit with them the way I want to. So I've put it on masonry, and then you simply click on the image, grab the handlebar at the bottom, and we drag it to the size we want. And this way I create a very specialized, very unique gallery in no time. Looks good, looks different than the one that we originally had, but what is nice is that they're all together. So when you click on any of these images and you go to the individual settings, we can add tags and that's going to make it easy for people who come to your site. You can see I'm putting this as interior, it's a living area or a study, um, and then I will call this muted colors. And every time I put in one of these categories and I separate it with a comma, you will see the tags appear at the top. And I'll do this, let's do it for a few more images. This one, okay, so I'll say this is our living, and then make this a little more light or vibrant. All right, so yeah, be creative. For our interior here, in case you have exterior, but all of these will be interior. This will be for our bathroom. And then again, let's say muted colors. And look how easy they can be filtered now by clicking on those tags. And a lot of people who use the gallery element are unaware that this feature actually exists. Absolute great bananas. Let's move on and have a look at how we're going to do this in Brizzy Cloud. Again, pro version. And with the cloning feature, all you need to do is click here, start with this design. I'm already logged into Brizzy Cloud. So it's going to give me this little reminder or progress. And it's done within 50. I like this within 15 seconds. I'm going to time it. Let's give it a go. Uh, yeah, I think that was less than 15 seconds. And it has been cloned. And as we go into the content management system under pages, all the pages nicely logged there. And same thing we have here. If you want to go and change out the images, maybe to a gallery element, you can do so. I think what is very important though, that you always have to remember, especially in cloud, that when you bring in a new site, you need to go and check your project settings, which is your website settings, as well as your SEO settings, because it's bringing in names like the architecture and template, and you don't want that. So definitely make sure that you go and change these out. Then finally, the one that you definitely need to do is your own reference. You see, currently it just gives it a project name. I don't want that, I'm gonna forget. So change it out, I call it architect website. And from here, I'm going to move it to either workspace of a client or a workspace specifically for that. And then once I've moved in, everything is set up and I'm happy clappy and we can move on from here. So I encourage you, go and visit us at brizzy.io check out the template section. This is just one of hundreds of multi-page templates and layouts that are available both in WordPress and cloud. And with these one-click installations, it makes it really easy, very breezy. From me, JP, then I'll see you in the next video.